To keep things light and interactive, we are now going to play a little game called Guess the Repair Action, where you try to determine whether the damages shown are repairable or you feel the entire unit needs to be replaced. Our first image is showing an HVAC split system condenser. So do you think that unit is repairable or would you write to replace that condenser? If you voted for a repair, you were right. This was confirmed to be minor hail damage and repair is likely. But what repair action is that, do you think? If you were thinking of combing the coil, you would be correct again. Nice job. We will talk more about combing later in the presentation and give you some good takeaways about that repair action. Okay, that was a good one to start. Now we're on to our image number two, which is showing more significant hail damage to another condenser coil. What do you think about this one? Okay, give you a minute. Make your choice. All right, if you voted for repair, excellent job. But what repair action were you thinking? Similar to the first one. Do you think combing would work on this smashed coil? The repair action on this claim was actually a recommendation for a new coil, not a new unit. Replacing coils is an often overlooked repair action, but very often the right one and is an industry accepted repair and is done probably every day somewhere during hail season. FYI, it would be very hard to make claim decisions on these types of claims using just photographs. An on-site inspection would be preferable as you or a technician could make the determination if what you are looking at is repairable or indeed a replacement is warranted. Okay, let's try a couple more. This time we have a package unit with confirmed hail damage. Take a look. Have you made your decision? All right, if you voted for repair, you were right again. But as I have been asking with the other ones, what repair action is warranted? A new coil for sure. Look at how those fins are flattened and torn. You are not going to get a comb through that one. But did you notice the top and fan guard are also damaged and will also have to be replaced? Be sure to pay attention to the details. Replacing all of those items is still better than replacing the entire unit. Okay, that was a good one. Now we're on to another package unit loss. All right, are you having trouble seeing this one? Here's a close up. Notice what kind of coil this is. All right, one more second to make your decision. If you voted for a repair, you were right yet again. Are you seeing a pattern here? I sure hope so. So what repair action are you thinking on this one? Of course, it would be just to replace this micro channel coil. Remember, there is no way to comb this type of coil, so a new coil it is. Okay, two more systems in our game, then we'll move on reviewing more damage photos. Our first image on this slide is one of those evaporative cooler units on the top of a residential roof. What would you do with this one? If you voted for a repair, I like the way you think. This was confirmed hail to this plastic unit, and again, I question why they make rooftop units made of plastic. So what repair action are you thinking about on this one? Very simple, a new top. We can get the parts and that is an easy repair for a technician. Okay, this is our last one. And I think we can recognize that this exhaust fan got crushed by hail and is not in good shape. I hope this is an easy choice. If you voted for repair, you win again. I'm hoping you got six for six on these, and that tells a story about repairability of units when they get struck by hail. So to wrap up, what is the repair action that fits this damage? A new hood or top cap is right. Another easy repair for a technician, and those parts are readily available for most makes and models. I think the key takeaway is this. Always think repair when it comes to hail damage. Thanks for playing our guest repair action game today. I hope you all did great.